the fires have gone out in the village. People are cold and hungry. A comet flashes across the sky. Manu sees it as a sign that Mahaweka, the goddess of fire, has arrived and that she must go and ask for some fire for her people. She sees a dazzling light and there's a roar of fire as Mahaweka appears with fire swirling all around her. Mahaweka is happy to share some of her fire with Manu. On the way back home, Tafere, the weather god's wind children, want to play, whirling around the ground and through the trees. And the flame goes out. Manu returns to Mahaweka for some fire. This time, Tafere's children, lightning and rain, see Manu and want to play. Manu tries to protect the fire, but again, the fire goes out. Manu once again goes back to Mahaweka. This time, Mahaweka summons her remaining fire and casts it into the base of the nearby Kai Komoko tree. Mahaweka's magic fire ignites some birds that were nesting. Transforming them into the first firebirds. They dance and move in a celebration of light and life. Mahaweka gently reaches out and breaks two sticks from the still warm tree, showing Manu how to rub them together to make fire. Manu, taking the fire sticks, gives thanks to Mahaweka 
and the Firebirds. On the way home, she happily plays with Tafiti's children. When she's home, Manu tells her people about Mahaweka and the gift of fire inside the Kae Kamoko tree. And whenever Manu sits warm around a fire, she gives thanks to Mahaweka and remembers the dance of the firebirds. Mm-hmm.